Speaking of which, the title of this headline is uh, California Governor, which is Gavin Newsom, says he'll nominate black woman to Senate if Feinstein retires. Diane Feinstein is the longtime senator. She is 80. How old is she? 80. I want to say she's 89 years old. But her term does not expire. I know it's in here somewhere, but I did not highlight it. Her term does not expire till like 2026. Okay, so she's in there, uh, or actually January 2025. Term doesn't end 2025. They're talking about, you know, if she retires, who will he nominate to put in his place? Now, he made a big stink when Kamala Harris, and this is the thing. Kamala Harris was the only woman, uh, of the, the only black woman in the Senate. Right. And because she's not in the Senate anymore, there is somehow some void. She got a promotion. <laughs> let's let's right. be real. She went from the Senate to vice president. So she was promoted in this systematic racist country of ours. I think she's going to get another promotion. But she was, uh, oh, yeah, she's going to get another promotion before uh, 2024. Yep. Uh, I, I, I assure you that. Mark my words. You've heard it here. But Gavin Newsom was on MSNBC show with Joy Reid. Now, if you want to talk about a horrible race baiter, it is Joy Reid. Yep. She is a horrible, horrible race baiting mm. person. 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 But I want to play this clip for you. She asked him, she asked him about this uh, topic here. So here's Joy Reid with Gavin Newsom, the current governor of California. Okay, we are out of time, out of time, out of time. I have to go to a break, but I have to. This is a yes or no answer that you could give me. Yeah. Uh, if, if, in fact, Dianne Feinstein uh, were to retire, uh, will you nominate an African American woman um, to restore the seat that Kamala Harris is no longer in the United States Senate? And do you have a name in mind? I have multiple names yes in yes mind. Yes no. We have multiple names in mind, and the answer is yes. Okay, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom, thank you very much for really the. So we are we are basing employment upon the color of someone's skin. Racist. That is what we're doing. So how is this not racist? What happened? What happened to Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream? Right. I listened to that speech three times this past week. I'm not going to give you my opinions on the full speech. But I wholeheartedly agree with one statement that he made uh, in there. And that is, he, he said, I have a dream that my four children will live in a nation where they are not judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their, their character. character. Right. That is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful statement. Agreed. We are going backwards in this country. <laughs> yeah, we are going fact. backwards in this country. During the, the civil rights movement of the 60s, where black men and women were given the same rights as anybody else they were giving voting rights i mean they were they were they were given all of these things they, there is no there is no lawful hindrance to the black person today none there is none that is not, you know, equality is supposedly what Martin Luther King was all about. Mm -hmm. But there is there is no equality that's being shot for by the race baiters such as Joy Reid and such as these that play along with it, like Gavin Newsom. Uh, to hire someone based upon the color of their skin is absolutely racist, racist. in its nature. Yeah. And if you can't see that, and it doesn't matter what color of their skin there is. Right. It does not matter. If you are hiring somebody because they're white, it's racist. If you're hiring somebody because they're black, it's racist. If you're hiring somebody because they're Asian, it's racist. It is just racist on, on its face, and mm -hmm. there is no other way you could put it. But yet you have somebody like Joy Reid that is asking this as if it is some champion of black people. Right. If it's something good, are you going to hire somebody based on the color of their skin? Well, absolutely. I have several names in mind, and I am absolutely going to hire somebody because of the color of their skin. Right. You take away the color, and that's exactly what was said. Yep. Speaking yep. of moronic statements, uh -oh. 
We're getting to Elizabeth Warren. Oh. Elizabeth Warren.